Today, an Eldon man had his bond reduced after a child was killed when allegedly playing with a handgun unattended. 27-year-old Albert Keel has been charged with child endangerment. A judge reduced his bond today to $250,000. Tonight, our ABC 17's Jasmine Halliburton joins us live from our newsroom. And Jasmine, this child is one of dozens killed each year when it comes to accidental gun deaths. Megan Lucas, according to every town for gun safety, there's an average of 131 children and teens who die by guns every year. And actually, I spoke to former prosecutor, and he told me it's actually very rare for parents to be prosecuted after their child is killed after they played with guns. Miller County prosecutors charged Albert Keel of Eldon with child endangerment for the death of a child at his home. He allegedly told investigators that he left a loaded handgun on a living room table before a child was killed on Sunday. Former Cole County Prosecutor Bill Tackett told me that it is very rare for parents to be prosecuted when this happens. It's very rare in prosecution where you have an accident or stupidity that then crosses over into criminal negligence unless you're dealing with intoxication, uh, vehicular homicide. But cases like this, it's not terribly common, no, to be charged. But then that's a decision for a prosecuting attorney. The Missouri Child Fatality Review Program 2022 annual report says that eight out of nine unintentional gun deaths were from using a gun that the owners did not know the child had access to. In the other one, the gun was in what the owner thought was a secure location that the child couldn't get to. In all nine accidental gun deaths, the children were unsupervised. I spoke with Modern Arms store manager Larry Wayland about safely securing and storing your firearms away from children. To um, use the supplied uh, disabling cable that comes with every handgun sold in America, it's a very simple process. We simply remove the magazine from the gun, drop the cable down through the magwell with the slide locked open, and then we can lock that gun so that it becomes unserviceable. Lock boxes are also available with multiple forms of secured access. Now, 26 states have child access prevention laws and safe storage laws that help, that's supposed to help lower the amount of teenagers and children killed from guns, but Missouri does not have those laws. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you, Jasmine. From May of 2022 to April of 2023, Missouri was the third ranked state for the most unintentional child firearm deaths with 11.